To Total Rugby League TV, we're going to be previewing round 16 of the first Utility Super League, joined by Martin Sadler, the editor of League Express. I suppose the best place to start is tonight's game, Martin. It's a West Yorkshire derby. It's uh, Leeds Rhinos against Huddersfield Giants. One team in the cup last week, one team not. How do you think that could affect proceedings tonight? Well, I think it's a fantastic prospect. And uh, Huddersfield are coming, as you say, having had a, a week off. And, and, and Leeds had a much more difficult game than they perhaps anticipated against Lee. Um, interesting, first of all, let's look at the changes. Uh, Zach Hardacre, of course, is, is not playing. And I think Lee might have something to say about that, you know, because um, I, there's, there's no obvious reason why they couldn't have made that disciplinary decision last week. And, and then, you know, if he'd not been playing against Lee, who knows what might have happened in that game, because, of course, it, it, did, it did score a try in it. Um, so Jamie Peacock is playing, though, because um, he yeah, didn't get a suspension. Ban, so. Yeah, he's escaped to ban for the fight against Young Sarsfield in the Lee game. So that's great news for Leeds. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, Huddersfield have won the last three times they've been to Headingley, and um, but uh, in tonight's game, they've left out Sean Lunt, and um, you know it looks as though I, I don't know. Whether, I, I imagine Sean has been rested or, or perhaps even dropped. But that's going to be a really interesting one because um, it's I, I, I would put that down as a bit of a gamble by by Huddersfield coach Paul Anderson. No doubt he won't see it that way. But um, Lunt, of course, did play at Leeds in 2012 and. And I would think always likes playing against Leeds. So, um, how's that going to work out? Um, is, is bringing Craig Kopchak back into the side as well, who who missed the last game against Wigan? And and again, I think you need a big guy like Kopchak to play against somebody like Peacock, you know, whose whose size is so important. Um, I, I find this a hard game to call. Yeah, I've, I've, game. I've got to say, I, I, you know, I think Leeds might just be. Too strong for Huddersfield, but you know there's only two or three points in it, and uh, I, I, I think it's going to be a really great game for everybody who's at Headingley and everybody who sees it on TV. From one tough game to another, there's four games on Friday night. Arguably, the biggest of those games is the rematch from last week in the Challenge Cup: Wigan against Castleford. Again, another tough game to call, Martin. It, it is, and, and, and Wigan tend to respond well. <clears throat> against teams who have who have shocked them. I mean, I, I, I go right back to 1998, you know, when um, when Wigan lost to Sheffield Eagles in the Challenge Cup final, probably the biggest cup final shock of all time. The following week, Wigan played at Sheffield Eagles, and I was at that game, and they ran, ran up an absolute cricket score um, to get their revenge. And no doubt they'll be trying to get revenge against Castleford as well um, on, on this occasion. Interestingly enough, I was just reading something about Sean Wayne saying that um, for the televised games, Sean is now varying Wigan's attacking patterns to try to avoid giving away obstruction penalties, which is quite an interesting one, isn't it? And, uh, you know, th there are some, there's some talk that Sean might make some, some changes to, um, to the team that played against Castleford last Saturday, but his name is 90-man squad, and, and, and there don't look to be any... Uh, absolutely massive significant well, There won't be anything drastic happening, will there? You, you wouldn't think? have thought so. Um, Castleford, uh, on the other hand, are obviously going to be coming to Wigan in confident mood, but they need to um, play as well as they did last week to, to really be able to compete, I think, tonight. I think Wigan will be so fired up with a desire to, you know, show Castleford who the boss is tonight, the, or, or tonight, tomorrow night, I should say, that... Um, I think Castle are going to face a real tough challenge from Wigan. It's going to be a real test of Castleford's ability and, and, and motivation and commitment to, 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 to see whether they can actually compete with Wigan again on two successive weekends. On to another game on Friday night. Hull KR against Warrington. Warrington in great form into the semi-finals of the Challenge Cup. But they are doing it tough and they're going to be without Michael Monaghan and Richie Miles for this game. That's going to have a big impact on proceedings, isn't it, Martin? And, of course, Ben Westwood, well, who's, yeah. who's still um, still, <laughs> still and Trent suspended. Trent Waterhouse as well, so yeah. Trent Waterhouse, of course, as well. So a lot of players out for Warrington. Hull Kingston Rovers are in an interesting position because they're, they're coming into this game having been spanked at Castleford two weeks ago in a game that I thought they'd you know, had a chance of winning before the game started. So they are going to need to improve quite radically. And um, obviously they've got Greg Eden back from his loan spell at Salford. He's going to be starting at full back, um, we believe. Um, I, 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 I think that they're going to be desperate to do well. Um, and, and yet Warrington 
Uh, actually, interestingly enough, they did win at Warrington earlier in the season in April, didn't they, in a, in a league match there? Warrington were the, horrendously out of sorts then. They were, a different they were, now, they do. But, but without Myler at uh, half-back, and as you say, without Monaghan, two key players uh, in terms of um, you know their midfield generalship there, I, I think this could be a really interesting game. And Hullikingston Rovers need to win it, don't they? Because they're, they're in ninth place at the moment, just one point outside the top eight. They can't afford to drop any further behind. So, you know, I, I think Hull Kingston Rovers could bounce back in this game. Another game on Friday night, Widness against another Hull side, Hull FC. Talk about Hull KR in ninth place, Hull FC are in tenth place, and, and they're starting to face a little bit of a gap to the top eight, aren't they? Now? Well, they are. They're three points outside the, the, the top eight of Hull FC. So, again, they urgently need to win. Um, Witness, though, you know, Witness had some ups and downs recently. But what a lot of people don't realise, I, I don't think, is that Witness have had a lot of players out through injury and, and for various reasons. Um, but you know, in, in tonight's game, I think they're going to be a bit more up to strength. And you know, they've got Paddy Flynn, for example, coming back onto the wing after after his suspension yeah. recently. Um, so I, I, I think Witness will really be up for this game. But they're really imponderable in a sense is that they do have another game next Wednesday against Wigan, that delayed game from round two, when Wigan played in the World Club, Club Challenge. And I think Wigan, uh, you know, the thought of Wigan might be at the back of the minds on, on Friday night, and, and that might, you know, give Hull a real, um, a real chance. Again, Hull, interesting, um, in, in, in their case, I think Setamata Saar might be fit again um, for Hull to play uh, in this game. But uh, I, I, was, I was reading something or listening to something earlier this week with Adam Pearson, the whole chairman, uh, insisting that you know, things are going well at the club and that um, he's got great confidence in Lee Bradford, which is great to hear because yeah, yeah. you know, Lee's a young coach uh, who I think is very, very dedicated to the job and I think will ultimately um, really pull through for, for Hull FC. So it's really great to see his chairman giving him you know, his backing in that way. Whether Hull can win on Friday night at, um, at, at, at Witness yeah, is, tough place to go, is, is, it, is, yeah. a, is a really difficult one, you know, and if they don't win, <coughs> that really, <coughs> excuse me, just could leave them out of the top, uh, out of the top eight reckoning. So, uh, you know, I think, I think that could be a really crucial game for them. Yeah, well, four big games this weekend, and we've got three more to preview, and we're going to be doing that in part two of Total Rugby League TV. Thank you, Aaron.